Hello everybody, it's B here, just here with a little unboxing. Um, I know that it's very like a common thing to do, but I just thought, why not? Like I asked people and they were happy enough to see it, so I thought, why not? I'm just gonna shift this a little bit, because you don't need to see all of my stuff. But anyway, today I got two packages, one from Kapow Toys and one from In Demand Toys. And I can't remember which one's which or what they are. I just know that they're pre-orders and there are Transformers involved somewhere. So we have this Fragile and this one with Kapow's usual um, brown tape. So let's see what one shall we do first. Mm -hmm. Little one, big one, little one, big one. We'll do the ID one first. So while I'm cutting this, I'm trying not to cut myself, thank you to everybody who has watched the first video that I did, the little like review introduction. Um, I appreciate that and I look forward to doing more. And like I said in the video, the first one is going to be Earthrise Optimus Prime. And then after that, it is oh, spoilers. I have some fun ideas of what to do to like link the different reviews together. So like, I'm going to do like different series of reviews. Series one is just going to be like introductory series. It's just going to be five episodes that are like have a segue into each other. Um, but. For future series, I want to do like themes, so like series, I don't know if it's going to be the next one, but at some future point I want to do like five reviews of like knockoffs, you know, ranging from the like knockoff masterpiece ones which are quite good versus like a Pineland Galaxy Shifter, just like a plethora of different things just to try and then also five, um, for example, like five of my favourite repaints so that'll be like not the mold's original release but like a follow-up one that will be fun um so anyway i've opened this and you know the way that i said that it was transformers well turns out i'm lying because the first thing is actually marvel legends <laughs> i have recently got into marvel recently thanks to my partner rascal Shout out. Um, and recently we watched the Spider-Man Homecoming and Far From Home, is that what it's called? And I fell in love with it absolutely. And so this is just, well, before that, I watched Spider-Verse ages ago and Spider-Verse is like, just like oh, fantastic movie. It's so beautiful. And when I saw that In Demand Toys had Spider-Verse Prowler on cheap, I was like, I'm going to get that. That was only like 12 quid, 15 quid or something compared to like, they're normally like 20 quid here. So that's quite a bargain. Um, I'll need to rewatch it to see like what the significance of the of the suitcase is and this other stuff. Or oh no, it's that Build-A-Figure stuff, isn't it? Oh yes, so that's like... Sorry if the, like, the light, I'm not used to this like because obviously like it's backwards for me, but like the arm is for Stiltman. I don't know enough about Marvel to know who that is, but he looks quite cool anyway. So yes, Prowler, awesome character, and I quite like that uh, he was referenced in Homecoming, wasn't it? Um, by, oh my god, I'm going to embarrass myself now, I'm forgetting his name. Oh my god. Well, you know who I mean anyway, and maybe I shouldn't say because it will spoil it, but one of the characters in Spider-Man Homecoming is the Prowler's alias. I don't know if they're going to do anything with that in the future. In the MCU, I don't know that whole Sony thing is very confusing to me. So, but anyway, yes. So, I don't actually have a Spider-Man figure yet. The only other two Marvel Legends figures I have are... Shocker, because he was my favourite as a kid, I remember. I don't think there was ever toys of this guy as a kid, but I remember playing, uh, there's like a PlayStation 2 game, 
Spider-Man the movie. And Shocker was in and you had to like chase him through the subway and then he like shot his blasts up the <laughs> shot his blasts up the up the subway tunnel at you. That's an innuendo. Um and the other one that I got was Hobgoblin. Who interestingly I thought, oh, he's just like a cheap version of Green Goblin because at the time when I started looking there was no Green Goblin figures available and the only ones available on eBay are like fifty quid, sixty quid. And I was like, screw that, I'm just going to get Hobgoblin, because he's cool anyway. But ever since reading it, and getting into it on like the Spider-Man wiki and whatever, I was like, oh, Hobgoblin's actually pretty damn cool in his own right. He's friggin' awesome. Like the whole the whole backstory and everything, you know. And I'm not going to get really far into that, because I know that most of people probably just came here for Transformer stuff. So let's continue. What else do we have? We have the little shaped the in demand always shoes. Thank you for your order. Hashtag not spawn. Would love to be spawned, but not spawned. And then we have Oh my god Oh look at him Oh my god that's the cutest thing ever. He's so small. I didn't realise he was gonna be so small. Let me get into this. Let me get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. Look at his artwork, his little face. I love it's like other people are like, oh, Ravage is like a, a deadly Decepticon warrior. And I'm like, he's cute. He is a good boy. Oh, he's so cute. Of course, has the little backdrop from the Bumblebee movie. That is hilarious. Oh my God, he's just like flying. <laughs> he's just flying and he's dropped all his crap on the floor and just fair enough. Fair enough, Ravage, fair enough. Let's get you out. Twisty ties. Twisty ties. Well, not twisty ties. Elastic y things. Um, I'm not going to bother like getting through, you know, like transforming and running, but oh my god, he is so cute. He is so cute. Oh my god, his mouth opens. Can anybody see that? Probably not. His mouth opens. And he has actual poseable, like goddamn poseable arms, and he actually looks, and he has a tail, and he actually looks like a goddamn cat, like he's supposed to, compared to where did it go? Where did it go? The uh, the siege one that I have, which is just like a brick with legs and a little dopey head. Like he's cute too. Don't get me wrong, but like. There's no comparison. Like, that actually looks like what Ravage looks like, you know? This one's cute, but this one's freaking awesome. Oh, it's a little... Little beans! <laughs> so, that's that. I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll open that properly later. Um, that's all for in there. Sorry if that was loud. On to the box the second. This one does not have any Marvel in it. I know that already because Kapow doesn't really do Marvel stuff. Well, they do, but it's very <laughs> expensive. Um, yeah. I don't mean to throw shade at anybody. I, I'm not here to spill the tea. What I will say is that after some recent stuff that's been going on on social media and things like that, and just generally like being messed about with pre-orders and stuff over the last couple of months, I don't think that I'm going to be getting much from Kapow anymore. I'm not going to say anything that is libelous or could get me banned. So that's all I'm going to say is that it could be better. Oh my god, yes. It is Tigatron. Look at him. Oh my god, he's so handsome. Look at that artwork, holy shit. I haven't decided if this is going to be like a adult or child friendly channel so I can say holy shit because I want to and it's my channel. Oh my god, look at him. Oh my god. Oh, the, the toe beans on his knees are so cute. <laughs> oh my god, that's badass. I don't really like keeping boxes normally but these kingdom ones, god damn they are. The artwork on them is so damn good that I always feel bad about throwing them away. Oh, look at that guy. Look at that boy. He's so cute. Of course he will. 
recently I got the little, um, the reissue one, and he's pretty cute in his own right, although he, I like that the new Tiger Tron can actually see, whereas the original one, like, you can't even see over his own tits because of his bloody size of his head, but he's cute, they're cute, I love them. I should say, just randomly, I'm not massive into Beast, no, he's in the way there, sorry, <clears throat> no, he's in the way there, sorry, I'm not used to this video stuff. <laughs> Let's just open them up while I'm talking. The, uh, I'm not really massive in the base wars. It's not something that I, you know, like, I'm not a hater. I'm not a G1er that's like, oh, truck, not monkey, whatever the way people are. Um, I appreciate the show. The show's good. And I quite like the, um, I like all the characters. But just in terms of like what I'm, what I want for my collection and like what I like aesthetically is just like, just like personal preference, you know, like I just don't find the, the Beast Wars stuff that engaging. But I am very happy that Kingdom exists as a line and gives people who like the Beast Wars stuff a really good version of those characters. Like I have, where is he somewhere? I don't know. Well, I've had, uh. I got the, the Buzzworthy Bumblebee travels across time or whatever it was. I don't know what it was. The bloody Bumblebee Doctor Who said practically. Um, mostly for being fangry, as everybody did. However, that Nemesis Primal is so cool and I love him and I m might do a review on the future. Because again, I was just like, uh, like Optimus Primal. I'm like, oh, I don't really care that much to own one, but that... The Nemesis one, I'm like, oh, I cannot say no to anything with purple and teal in it. And of course, Nemesis is Nemesis, Nemesi, Evil Optimi, Evil Optimuses. They all have, I've got this stuck in my finger now. Eh, ow. Let's try and not kill myself while we release this chap from his prison. <laughs> One thing I will say is that, just like unboxing, this has reminded me, and Ravage as well, because like, he didn't, he doesn't have the, the plastic thing. I like that they're doing this like less plastic packaging. However, I feel that there's still a long way they could go. Because these tags, they don't need to be plastic. They don't need to be plastic. Like I can't remember who it was, but I got one recently that was was it transmutate? Maybe one of the Gen Selects ones was like attached to their thing by string, like the paper string. And I'm like, why don't they use this for all of them? Because that's just so genius. Um, what's wrong here? Oh, his, pff, his legs are attached in the back. That looks ridiculous. I'm going to get covered in these tags. from your prison. Oh, he is a handsome boy. Wow. He's so cool. I kind of, like, I know that this is show accurate and that's what they were going for with these ones, but I kind of wish he was the slightly brighter teal that they are, like, the turquoise that the, that the, that the little one is. But I suppose we could get these out for comparison. I don't want to go too much into these because I might do individual reviews of them, but well from this camera it looks they're almost exactly the same colour, but this one feels brighter for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's because he's his white is whiter. Whereas this white is like slightly realistic. Oh he's so handsome. I love that it is he has like a cat mouth face. And like whiskers, like a mustache, like that's brilliant. I love that design. I love that it differentiates him from Cheeto as well. Now, is this transformed right or is this transformed wrong? Because his his shoulders are very far back. But anyway, I'm glad that mine has eyes. 
um, the tiger mode because gotta love some some of the QC on this boy oh my goodness like somebody in Transformers Bot posting the other day posted that their one very sadly had no eyes in the tiger mode and it looked hilarious because you could see the whole way through it and everybody was posting memes and all like eye of the tiger and stuff you know like being hilarious at this poor person's uh, misfortune with the QC but anyway so there's I just realized there's a theme to all of this Tigatron Ravage is a cat and Prowler has th uh, what do you call it not fangs hand fangs no um uh, claws, that's it. That got it out of me. Prowler was like, like, I don't want to make an idiot of myself in front of the Marvel people, so I'm not going to say whether or not he is based on a Jaguar or anything like that, but in Spider-Verse at least, he gives me quite, like, Black Panther vibes, you know, like a similar kind of character in terms of, not, not, a, not character, I don't want to say that, like, in terms of, uh, equipment, I would say, like, like he has the claws and stuff. That's pretty cool. Equipped with an armoured suit and gadget filled wrist gauntlets, Prowler pursues his enemies under the cover of darkness, is what it says here. Yeah. That's cool. So, cat themed. That's interesting. I honestly didn't plan that because, like, there's. There's been so many, and um, I'm not going to open him, I'll open him later. The, um, because, like, I want to try and keep this as, like, a Transformers channel primarily. And then if I want to do other stuff, like, maybe I'll review the, the Marvel guys on a separate playlist or something. But for now, I want to keep it Transformers. But anyway, what I was going to say before I interrupted myself so rudely was, um, it's been a rough month for pre-orders this year. Like, holy moly. Um. So I didn't know what was like, well, I knew because I'd ordered them, but short term memory stuff, I forgot what I had ordered um, or like what order it was coming in because I'm also waiting on Blaster, Perceptor, uh, Galvatron and Lift Ticket, I think those four, maybe another one somewhere. No, I think that was it. So they might be here this next week. So if if people like this kind of format, if you want to see more of this, if you want to see more of my ugly bake, then I can certainly do another um another unboxing. Like when those come I can do this again, you know. I think that's about wraps it up because tonight I'm very excited because me and my partner are going to watch the nineteen eighty six movie and it's it's their first time watching it. And it's my first time watching it since I was about seven. So I'm going to we're going to enjoy that very much. And it's funny that no movie bots arrived today. Because I thought that maybe it might have been Blaster and Preceptor, which are obviously in the movie. But but not. Um So yes, I'm going to go and get ready for that. Uh you see little hot rod. <laughs> like er, like earlier I was trying to point to stuff. Like, I am not used to this, like, backwards mirrored thing yet. So if I'm trying to point to stuff, it's all, like, all over the place. But anyway, I think that about wraps it up. I want to try and keep these short. This is already nearly 20 minutes, which is longer than I want it to be. But anyway, might edit it down. Might not. Don't know. Bye! <laughs> Just a quick little additional, because I forgot to say at the end of that other part. Um... If you like what you see, please consider obviously like subscribing, liking the video, uh, leave a comment if you want to see other stuff, leave a comment with suggestions for like if you like this unboxing thing or if you want to see different stuff, if you want like a, a tour of my collection or something or, or something like that. And in terms of reviews, I'm also interested in suggestions for themes. Like I said, like every, every five episodes is going to be a little series, it's going to be a little theme, so I'm open to suggestions on themes. I haven't settled on any yet apart from the first one is definitely going to just be uh, random starting ones because pff, I don't know but yes okay so for real this time goodbye have a nice day